I think this is going. All right, man. Hey, what's up, man? Check this out. I've been working on this shit forever. Forever. And it's finally done. And I think this thing destroys anything known to man. <laughs> it's cool. Let me put it that way, all right? It's the best way to hook up all your game systems. Or my game systems. It's the best way to hook up all my game systems. All right? And fucking, it all works. And every fucking thing works. It's perfect. So check this out. Hold on. Fucking get ready. Here we go. All right. Now, first things first. Uh, we got, you know, the Samsung LCD. All right. That's one of the screens we're going to use. Then down here we got this fucking HDMI switcher thing there. All right, that's kind of one of the hearts of the system because on this rack we got a PS3, Xbox 360, and a Wii U. I own a PS3 and my kid owns those other two over there. All right, this switch box has four inputs and two outputs. All right, so I have all the gaming going through that to the LCD for two reasons. All right, it's got the four inputs. They all go to one input on the TV, the LCD, the Samsung, 60-inch, 2011. All right, and the other output goes to the fucking receiver. So we got audio going to that, video going to that, boom, boom. But it's got four inputs. Those are three down there. The fourth input is the USSC. If you don't know what that is, then I can explain it. Fuck it. All right. So now that way, everything going over to that TV is boom like that. Then over here. I got me a uh, 21 inch VGA CRT. Now, people talk about BVMs, PVMs, whatever, man. I ain't waiting in line for that shit. This shit's got it's just the sharpest picture of any of those. It's 21 inch. It's beautiful. And it didn't cost me nothing at all. Then next to that, we have 27-inch old-school CRT, but it has component input. All right? So now we got all the bases covered here. We got the LCD 60-inch fucking TV. I'm not going to lie to you. She's got two frames of lag. You know what? I know I can do better now, but I can't buy another TV. It's just the way it's going to be for now until I can buy a better TV. All right? But, you know, you get serious. You want the best picture possible. And you got your 20-inch VGA monitor. All right? No lag. And fucking sharp as fuck. Beautiful picture. And, you know, I mean, for schmups, it's perfect. This 27 is still good for schmups. Better for platformers. I mean, like, if I'm going to drive, I want a big screen. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you got those consoles over there. That they're built to have lag into an LCD, so psh, they don't matter. But anyway, so now the fucking, the real deal of the fucking super duper SCART motherfucking setup, which has no SCART except for one SCART connector left. All right. Now I got the one scar connector going into there because uh, that's what it uses. I also use the VGA input and I also use the component input. It's a beautiful thing. All right. So the way it's all hooked up, we got the Genesis Sega CD, the 32X. 
Genesis. And I separated those because I use, I'm using an uh, EverDrive now. I mean, I got plenty of fucking, I don't need, but it's so much easier to use the EverDrive, right? So the EverDrive doesn't play Master System through the 32X. So I had to have a dedicated 32X setup and then a dedicated fucking Genesis Sega CD. And then I could play the Master System games on that. There's a Master System up there. That's not connected. That's one of the few consoles here that's not connected. Because I could use the EverDrive. I mean, I got a nice collection of Master System games over here. Um, I guess pause it if you want to see what I have. But I, it's a decent collection. I got some loose cards too. But with the EverDrive, I could play them all on there. Except for the 3D, but I could always break it. I got the fucking, I got, I could play 3D. Yeah, I even have an old master converter or whatever it is called there with the plug-in for the glasses. And I have the glasses. Alright, I'm showing everything. Because I, today I'm just going to show everything. Fuck everybody. Alright. Here, here we go. 3D glasses. Alright, I got them. Then over here, what I did is... Uh, where'd it go? Oh, fuck. I'm not sure. Um, I know I had it. Oh, here it goes. See, I actually have... I built a cartridge on the master base converter, which I have the pieces up here. Uh, I'm up here somewhere. But the original master base converter thing, whatever there, I kind of gutted it and I put it a cartridge thing around that part there because I was using my JVC XI, so it works better. So anyway, so if I want to do 3D, I can do it. Okay, so that's another nail checked off the coffin. 3D fucking set, uh, Masters games can all be played. All right. So we got that. That. We got the Saturn. Soon to have a Phoebe. We got the Dreamcast over there. Right now it's got a GDE MU installed in it. But I'm going to put that in. I have another... That's like my really good system. I'm gonna put it, the GDE MU into a um, a shitty system with a bad drive, and then uh, put this back together. I was playing with the GDE MU. It's pretty cool. All right, then I got the PC Engine Core Graphics Two with uh, the SSD three in there, and uh, I put I. Uh, I did all the mods that were necessary to fix the the one fucking, I don't know, it was a capacitor I had to be flipped for, even though I don't use the uh, component, composite, I don't use a composite, but I flipped the capacitor anyway. Then the other mod that somebody figured out, you had a cap to get rid of the noise when it loads CD games, which... It's still there, but not as, I mean, unless you really crank it, you don't hear it. And I also did a uh, RGB fix on the actual core graphics, too, with one of those micro cap things. I don't know, Voltar sent a couple to me and hooked me up with the caps to fix that. But I'll tell you what, man. With all those fixes, and that all, oh, and then what else all I did was, is I put the caps. And the resistors back into the SSD3 that they pulled out because everybody was whining because they wanted a fucking a stock Mega Drive uh, Genesis or Mega Drive 2 uh, RGB cable to work with it. Fuck that, man. I put the components back into the fucking SSD3, the caps and the resistors. And I built my own fucking beautiful fucking fully shielded fucking cable with no fucking resistors or capacitors in it. You know what I'm saying, man? The way it should be. We got the the, the, the NES 
I won't lie, the only thing the NH is hooked up to is this TV right now using its uh, uh, composite out. You know, that's the way it is. I can run a switch box to it and uh, run it over here in composite. And I gotta say, this fucking, this Samsung gives real, a really nice picture just using composite out of the NES. But it's not hooked up that way right now. So, But it is hooked up. Then you got the fucking heart, soul, and fucking balls of the system. The Xtron switcher and an impact switcher. Xtron switches RGB and VGA. Impact switches fucking uh, uh, component. All right, over here you got a hard drive that's hooked up to the Wii down there. You got a SNES, SNES. A Super Nintendo should cover all the bases. An N64 and a Jaguar. So now that's the end. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. They're all outputting RGB into the Xtron switcher there, which is 8x4, all right? Don't be fooled by all the buttons, because 8x4, that's all it's got. So the eight of those going in there, boom, 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 all right? Then we got over here, component. We got PS2 outputting component. GameCube outputting component. Wii outputting component. And Xbox outputting component, all right? So now, the way it's working is, we got component being inputted from those component consoles into the OSSC. If the impact selects which console, all right, and the impact switch selects either, because it's got, see the beauty of the impact is it has dual outputs. So one output is going to the fucking TV here, and one output goes to the OSSC. All right, so now our component sources are all either going to the TV with component input or the OSSC. Then the OSSC is outputting HDMI. All right. Then that, that signal is going... Right, now we're getting into it. I'm going to open the curtains over here to get some more light. All right. From, from from the the OSCC, all right, is outputting uh, VGA uh, HDMI. Then that comes down to this, all right. That's got one input. Fuck. And uh, two outputs. All right, one output of the HDMI goes over to my LCD. The other one goes to that little dongle there which converts to VGA, and it comes up here to this. All right, so basically you have everything can be on this, this, or that. Now, the way that all the RGB um, uh, consoles, which are, you know, I showed you those, those eight that are outputting RPG, RGB. They're outputting RGB. That's going into this box here. I got an eBay. This guy makes them. They're nice. I forget the fucking name. But the beauty of this thing is, this box is, it accepts RGB with combined sync. It accepts VGA with separate sync. And it'll accept RGB with combined sync. No, RG with separate sync, as I said. So, what's cool, it's cool because, you know, I take the output from the RGB consoles and pump it into that, and it works. I take the output from the Dreamcast over here with the Bay Horus Brothers thing there, all right, and it outputs no problem to this and this. But if I switch the switch to um, RGB over there, 
It outputs RGB with separate sync and fucking vertical and horizontal sync. But this thing has no issues with that. It takes it and it converts to component and it outputs out this TV over here, which is nice. So basically, every motherfucking console that I've shown can play on any fucking TVs. All right. Now, all right, there's an Atari 2600. All right, no lies. This, you know, I don't have that many cartridges no more for it. So it's got the adapter on there. I can screw that into this thing here. I haven't bothered right now at this point yet. The mash system sitting up here just for fucking shits and giggles because it looks cool. Um, the only thing I gotta say is the biggest problem I got is with all this is the controllers, man. Like, I got controllers here and over there and over there. I got some over there. You know, but it's a pain in the butt. Or the wiser controllers. I'm trying to make it look neat. But hey, I'll deal with it. So anyway, this is the best fucking way to hook up everything in your fucking game room. Hopefully I was clear about how it's connected. If anybody needs any more info, I'll, I'll give you the info, you know what I'm saying there? But... It's going to a fucking modern LCD. It's going to a VGA CT CRT. And it's going to an old school SD CRT with component input. Okay, not an HD CRT. I mean, that will not take 40p. It only takes 40i or 240p. Alright, so just so you know. I mean, I got... Anybody who knows this channel knows what other fucking CRTs I got in the house. And they're all downstairs in the fucking garage of doom. But anyway, I think this fucking shit turned out good. I'm going to give one more pan around just to show off what I got. And uh, if anybody has questions, I'd love to help you out, man. Because every fucking thing is hooked up. And with a push of a button, I can play on any of these. I got my choice of how I want to play. Take care, people. I love you. Those are calf. Found them on the side of the road, man. Had to repair one tweeter, and it's all repaired. Over here in the corner is my steering wheel setup I built. I think people have seen it. But uh, I whip it out for PS3 and PS2. And it's fucking, I get this, this chair here and it hooks into that hole there. And it's a blast. And there's one of those stupid controllers for Dreamcast. And back here I got B&Ws. Which I got for free. At one of my stops. Dreamcast, some PS2, I mean, Dreamcast, PS1, that's all Dreamcast and PS1, obviously Sega Genesis, the best, down there I got a Duo, a Turbo uh, graphics, what's it, Turbo Duo, PC Engine, Duo R, and a mass uh, Sega Saturn there. That the the Phoebe's on his way in. That's going. That's going to get a Phoebe. Uh, arcade stick. Where I just found out there's some board I could buy for twenty five bucks. 
make it compatible with everything I already, I already tried to do it, but I'll do, it'll be better. And over here we got, you know, PS1 and some Saturn. There's some maracas up there. There's some turbo graphics over there. There's just some cool shit over here. Some Game Boy Advance and DS there. And a rack. Some other stuff here. 32X. Wii U. Master System. I know I got something here cool, right? Let's see. Oh, yeah, here. Now you like this Power Strike. In case you missed it. I got a couple fairy stars. King's Quest. Ah, I tried playing it, but I never <laughs> I fucking played it. Uh, there's a fairy star. I got two editions of fairy star. See the difference? One is Ty uh, Tyco or whatever that other fucking company was. It. Here's a cool game. on Ghouls and Ghosts, man. If you never checked it out, check it out because it's a completely different game and it's fucking great. Got some PS3 shit here. And some PS2 stuff. PS2 stuff. My kids 360 stuff. It's a fucking Genesis uh sports games. And then from there, you come around. And if you're still here. Which I doubt. But if you are, cheers. Have a beer. The Closet of Doom. Which, if you haven't seen it, there it is. You got a lot of Nintendo. N64. Genesis Loose Carts. SNES. Tell you what, uh, there's some good stuff in there, too. I mean, fuck. What do you think, eh? We got some Nintendo boxed games over there. Some long box PS1s over there. Atari 2600. Star Raider. Uh, N64 over here. Fucking sealed stuff. I need a 64. Um, and, uh, I don't know. Here, check out this shit, too. See what you see up there. I don't fucking know what. Here's some DS's. PS2. Uh, here's, a, here, here's a wireless Saturn pad. I got the receiver for it too. I don't really trust the technology though. PC in your works makes some nice repos. Really cool shit. Uh, Sega Saturn steering wheel. Gotta have that. Um. Old PC, oscilloscope, make everything work good. And another, I gotta get rid of that the motherfucking uh, switch box. And uh, some hard drives, ID hard drives. This is a massive box of cables. And there's two more full drawers full of cables. The other two big drawers are all fucking controllers. Nuts, man. Nuts. Okay, so that's it. If you're still here, cheers. If you're not, fuck off. Talk to you later, people.